Dalton Droid and Discovery Zone is back in Arizona with my brother Scott. Hey, welcome to Santan Mountains in lovely Queen Creek, Arizona. We're about 40 miles southeast of Phoenix, getting ready to explore an incredible gold mine uh, area. So stay tuned to see lots of cool stuff on this trip. <laughs> We're going to try to make it up to one of these peaks here. See what we can see along the way. We're actually on what's called the Gold Mine Trail. Gold Mine Trail, okay. The first little stop chipmunk. Would be the Carter Gravesite. Carter Gravesite. Now, I guess we don't know anything about who they, they were. Was it a, a family that once lived out here perhaps? There's some original settlers here in the San Juan Valley area that um, I believe are either miners and they're pretty well known in the area and they wanted their final resting place to be in the foothills of these beautiful mountains. So. Oh, nice. We're going to check out some abandoned gold mines up here at the top of the trail. Now, I understand that they're fenced off. Right. It's kind of dangerous, but lots of mine shafts that go straight down, too. So Yeah, that is an issue here in Arizona. There are literally thousands of abandoned mines, and they've only identified maybe a couple hundred. And even less than that are actually fenced off. Now, some, high, some 35 people or so have died, as I understand it already, just exploring abandoned mines due to the vertical shafts that, uh, especially in the dark, you don't even see though. You're walking and all of a sudden, boop, you're dropping 100 feet. Clearly that's what we should be doing with dodging. Well, let's, let's, let's just walk here. Because <laughs> we had a mountain to climb yet. One thing in Arizona, you gotta have good trail etiquette. Yeah. Not the crony hikers. Yep. Don't always get that in Pennsylvania. As you might know, Dalton Drone Discovery Zone, we're actually from back east Pennsylvania. We're out here visiting my brother this week. And he's introducing us to some of these locations. You want to come across any rattlesnakes, Scott? Nope. Too cold now this time of year. All right. Well, yeah, we're, we're into, into December here now. It's balmy 68 degrees. Yeah. Probably a balmy 30 degrees back east. Which is why I don't live there anymore. That's correct. And those type of trees right there, do you know what they are, Scott? The uh, cactus? Yeah, cactus type or of tree. Choyas. Choya, choya cactus. Do not want to touch them or get near them. Yeah. Is that the ones that they sometimes call jumping cactus? Correct. Yeah, they seem when to. get closer to them, I'll show you when they're on the ground. Yeah. They connect to your shoes very quickly. They don't jump actually, but they seem like they do. We have uh, this down here. This is like a wash, I guess. We'll be walking down there in a little bit. Now look at that, yeah. The first gold mine can be up there. Okay. The tailings are kind of disguised right now under some grass. You'll see lots of little pebbles and rocks in the yep. dugout. Yep. The challenge are outside the hole. Let's go to the grave. Okay. Graves. They say that old man Carter's ghost will be feeding sometimes on full moon. Oh, neat. Out here. Yeah. And will haunt anyone that take pictures or videos of his grave. Okay, let's get him on video. <laughs> so, one thing is, I noticed it's really quiet out here. I wanted it to be his final resting place. Yeah, I guess so. Well, look at that. Oh, 
Now look at that, yeah, Carter Mansell. Born 512 to uh, 1902 and died 65 1987. Yep. It's pretty old. Yeah. Yeah. 85 years old. Yeah. And then we have uh I guess uh, who's uh Kennedy? Marion E. Kennedy. Yep. Born 10 4 1874 and died 522 1960, is that? Oh yes. Wow. Well you just two graves here, huh? And you can see the information about Mr. Kennedy with the Cherokee Indian. Okay. Put that there, you can pause the video if you wanna read it. And then we have Mr. Carter from Quaker City, Ohio. So these two are not related? No. Huh. huh. As you can see, uh, Carter, along with the bigger phallic symbol on his grave. I see that. Versus Kennedy. Uh, yeah. There you go. There's a nice view of, over there of uh, the Queen Creek area. That mountain straight across with the line down the middle of it, it's called Gold Mountain. Okay. Some great trails there. It's a hike up to yeah. Wind Cave. That's a really good hike. Hmm. To the right, you can see four peaks. Uh, the very tallest ones are the four peaks. Okay. We're getting out into the Superstition Mountains there. Okay. That's a uh, future video, perhaps. Superstition Mountain. I'd love to get up there sometime when we're out here again. It makes these look like hills. Yeah. There's a lot more folklore associated with them. Imagine these uh, these uh, trails were one time used to, to cart the gold out. If they, I guess they had found some up there, and these gold mines were active and. They would use these roads to, to bring the, the gold back out. Yep. I wonder how, wonder what these gold mines are dated at. I didn't see any information down there at the entrance, the trailhead. I think they were late 1800s and ran all the way through the 1900s. So they would have used some sort of burrow and, and wagon or buggy or something? Yep. Up until about 20 years ago, so we opened the vehicles. We think deep back oh, here. Okay. First during the monsoon season, which usually runs from, what is it, June through September? Late, late August. Late August through late August. You have to be careful because you can get one of these pop-up thunderstorms and you can actually flood this this whole area if it turns into a raging river. Yeah, you can see there. there definitely was water flowing here at one time. Now it gets a little steeper. And the footing's really rocky, so yeah. you want to stay outside to the dirt trails. Or yeah. Looks like these were maybe tire tracks at one time. Are we there yet? This is a warm up. Oh, it's a warm up. Okay, folks. This uh, might turn into a whole, uh, very different video here. But how to perform CPR. We'll see what happens. I'm certified. Yeah, my brother's not certified, so it's maybe my last video. And here we go. That's the break. Here we go again. Okay. Uh oh, more rocks. So, where's the coyotes at? Well, you have to look in the wash. If you look up. The square entrance. You have to block the sun. The top of that mountain, right up here. Yeah, there's a. I can a find it there. Just trying to see if I can spot it. It faces us, almost like a doorway. Huh. Towards the top. Right here. Yeah, you can tell by the green bark. Oh, that right here. Complete okay. Desert tree. They grow like a shrub. Very little oh, yeah. water, thorns. Yeah, it's like pretty much everything else here in the desert. We've been in the desert when it rains. 
I get this distinct uh, fresh smell. This is mesquite. Okay. So if you take it, push it, smell it, you'll smell like rain. It's the oils that get released when water hits and it rains in the desert. Oh yeah. That's yeah. what it is. It's okay. mesquite bushes. Huh. Okay. Well, we're in a state, this part of the state anyway, where most of the plants want to kill you. Yeah. Or at least inflict harm. So the plants here are just trying to survive. So yeah. trees aren't big and leafy like back east because they couldn't support that big of a trunk. Well, yeah, one thing is too, with a, with a broad open leaf like that, and the way it's so dry here and does it, the evaporation would take the yeah, moisture yeah. out of that leaf very quickly. Well, starting growth, shorter. Here. Roots are going to be on the surface, soak up the water, and then cactus have all the spines and the trees protect the flesh and the water they have within their trunks. Can you actually get moisture out of a barrel cactus? Yes. Like if you were, but I had heard it's it going to be a lot of work to get into it. Yeah, and somewhat painful, I guess. Too. Why you bring lots of water? On these there you go. So it actually, you you could, you used to drive jeeps up this, right, right here, this path. Yeah. Wow. A little bit wider. It wasn't as washed out as it is now. Yeah. As you see, they try to fill it in with a lot of rock. Yeah. Otherwise, the soil continues to wash out. Yeah. And it becomes like that wash that we walked into. Hmm. Here's more rock that was put in here. I see. That looks like gravel almost. You there yet? Okay. So the piece about hiking in the desert. Yeah. Everything looks so close and easy. Yet we're getting a little winded. Uh -huh. Just from the elevation we've gone up, we still have a ways to go if we're gonna get to the top of that mountain. Oh boy. So with clear skies and visibility and no trees to hamper your view, everything looks smaller and relative to yeah. distance. They say everything's bigger in Texas. Well, yeah. hell's true for Arizona, too. Arizona. Everything's bigger than the piers in Arizona. All right, we're gonna do some switchback trails. All right, that's a little. Right the, and then we gotta do a little bit of climbing straight up. What? You didn't mention climbing when we first started. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Climbing straight up to get into the mouth of the. I don't have any rope with me either. Well. Grab a, uh, We're gonna do some true climbing. Yep. The camera's gonna be pointed straight down. Yes, we still have technology in the desert. Yes, we do. I have a signal. How about that? That was my support team there. So you need to be taken down off the mountain yet? I was like, no. I'm okay so far. Not yet. Not yet. Keep on standby. Yeah. They do have the rescue choppers out here that will, especially in the summertime, Rescue all the uh, unprepared and yeah. overzealous hikers. Got some nice uh, saguaro cactus up here. That's is that the state plant? It is the state plant. And I believe our state bird is the cactus wren that makes its home inside the saguaro. Okay, so yeah. The cactus don't seem to mind being drilled into. That's the barrel cactus that's sitting in there. I see that. Look at this. It fell loose and. Yep. See how deflated it gets when it's out Yeah. There? Yep, like a balloon. Now there is a view. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. Straight ahead is Camelback Mountain. Mm -hmm. To the left is Phoenix. You can see the south side of Phoenix and north side of Phoenix, almost like two cities. Okay. Yeah, I see it. To the left of that is South Mountain. That rains one of the biggest parks. South Mountain Regional Park. Wow. 
All the two keys on the south side of that. This whole this whole area is just basically surrounded with mountains. Yeah, the tailings get a little tricky. Yeah, I see them right up here. So that's where you got to bend over and hold the camera with one hand and hopefully not fall on my butt. Right. So fall on your face first. Oh yeah. That right up there. Okay, so right here. We head right up there. Yeah. Yeah, keep your distance. All right. Here we are. Oh, cool. Look at that. Now, it looks like there's some water been flowing down here, yes. too. There's another mine up top. Second one. Oh, okay. Smaller one. I forgot about that one. Huh. Let's get over here. Actually, many years ago, my buddies and I went and we weren't fired up yet. Wow, cool. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, I forgot to yes, get a bring a flashlight. Look at that. That is cool. It's pitch black in there, about 10 feet. Yeah. Wonder when they gated these off. Probably the last time someone fell and killed themselves. Yeah. That'd be a good reason. Halfway down there. They drill straight down. Yeah. Vertical shaft. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I have. I read online instances where people have fallen down and survived for several days until they were rescued. Another one up there, huh? Yeah. I don't see I that. I bring one. the kids up here when they were little. They spend a whole bunch of time digging through the tailings to see if they get that one little piece of gold still. Oh, uh, okay. Never found it, but. Yeah. I don't see that one out there. Can you see that from here? It's around the corner under that other clump of trees. Okay. Well, I think we don't need to go up there. Okay, yeah, we're going to go down this way. This okay. Be treacherous too. All right. You want me to go first? Yeah. Okay. Just be careful on the footing because you step forward and that means you fall on your butt. Right. There are some spectacular views here, folks. Look at that over there. Arizona is a beautiful state. Every week when you move here. Yeah. Be about 20, 30 pounds lighter too. Okay. Well we avoided the, the nasty area that we had to climb up. Yeah, coming down that pretty much uh, snowboarding on rocks. Yeah. I would imagine. You get down quick, but maybe not in good shape. There he is running down there. I think I will not do that. But this is a nice little path right here. Yeah. It's like this all the way up, right? Yeah. That sounded like a sarcastic yeah. Probably about 30, 30 degree. 30 degree angle. Well, I've done that before. Warning. Hazardous trail. Dun 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 dun. We there yet? This is where we have to clamber up here. This little rock face right here. We'll find our footholds and. We go. Oh, 
All right. Trek. There's your Choya. Okay, there it is. Right there. Don't touch. Somebody put a piece of gum on it, I see. Yeah. Looking directly west right now. The sun is getting ready to set. The other portion of the Santan Mountains are directly west of us, swinging around to the north towards Phoenix, coming into view way out there right now. And now looking directly due north at Camelback Mountain. We have some exclusive insider footage. This is where all the magic begins on the Dalton Drone Zone. Stay tuned. And now they tell me. Off into the sunset. Call me. 